It was a unanimous verdict. On Wednesday, three judges upheld the corruption charges of Brazil's former president, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, further complicating his dreams of a third term in office. Unfortunately, and I say unfortunately, we're convicting a former president, one who committed a crime and who plotted directly or indirectly with many others. The judges also extended the 72-year-old original nine-and-a-half-year sentence to more than 12 years. Voters, meanwhile, remain split on the issue, while Lula supporters call the sentencing a smear campaign not based on actual evidence. Those in favor of his conviction say justice is necessary. Both sides took to the streets immediately following Wednesday's verdict. We're thirsty for justice. We need punishment. Those who steal in this country must be punished. We are taking to the streets because we want to defend Lula tooth and nail. For us, he is Brazil's greatest president. Lula was first convicted of corruption and money laundering last July. The standout charge, accepting a seaside apartment from a construction firm in exchange for contracts with the state oil company Petrobras. An original frontrunner for October's presidential elections, Lula says he'll continue to run despite the latest conviction, meaning another appeal is expected.